Hi, today I will be demonstrating the Medtel Software's Clinic Scheduler. Case Scheduler is one module of the Clinically Adaptive Informatics System, or what we like to call CASE for short. The Case Scheduler is an easy to use tool for enrolling patients and tracking their appointments. For this demonstration I will be discussing some of the features of the Case Scheduler. I'll give you a tour of the Scheduler, demonstrating the different Scheduler screens and views, and I'll show you how easy it is to create and then edit a patient appointment. The case scheduler runs as a web-based cloud application that can be securely accessed over the internet from anywhere. That means not only can you view your patient appointment schedule from your office or clinic, but also from home or anywhere else that has internet access. By using the case scheduler, clinics reduce costs and save time by efficiently managing patient appointments. Billing is maximized by one-click integration with Medtel's personal billing assistant. Tracking your patient's complete medical history, visits, plan, prescriptions, and more is made easy by the scheduler's ability to integrate with the case electronic medical record module. The scheduler can be used for a single physician practice, small to large groups, or even clinics. For multi-facility clinics, case scheduler can integrate with our case electronic referral triage module. This electronic referral triage manages the intake process for all facilities and helps to reduce referral backlogs. I should also mention that all of our case modules, including the case scheduler, are fully supported by our dedicated support team. As mentioned, case scheduler is accessible over the internet, but can only be accessed after securely logging in. Once logged in, we can view the clinic schedule. At the top of the schedule, we have the clinic logo and clinic name, the name of the user that is currently logged in, and the current date and time. Below that, we have our patient information. Once a patient is selected, the patient's name, sex, age, and date of birth will appear here. We can also see the patient's medical record number and their OHIP number. Next, we have our main menu. The number of tabs available will depend on which case modules you are using. For the purposes of this demonstration, our scheduler is integrated with the case electronic medical record module, but is also available as a standalone application. Below the main menu, we have our module menu, some navigation and view options, and here we have our schedule. At the top of the schedule, we can see the physician's name. Right now, we only have one physician schedule showing, but we have the option to show multiple schedules by clicking on the Show link, and then selecting or deselecting the physicians we want to show or hide. Now, as you can see, we have three schedules, and the name of the physician is at the top of each schedule. Over in this corner, we can quickly view the number of appointments scheduled for this day for all physicians. Here we can see the selected weekday and the date. This column displays the scheduled time in hourly intervals, but we can also see the timing at 5 minute intervals by hovering over the schedule. Each appointment box includes a status icon, patient name, sex, and age. We can also see the patient's contact information and the referring physician's contact information as well. There is also room for a comment, and if we hover over the appointment, more information appears. Each appointment type is color coded so that you know what the appointment is just by looking at the color. These colors are fully customizable to your taste. To create an appointment we have two options. We can click the new button at the top or we can double click where we want the appointment to go. This will open the appointment window, and as you can see, the date and time are automatically entered for us. To add a patient, we simply type in the first few letters of the patient's last name, their health card number, or medical record number. I'll search for a patient by last name. As you can see, our search generates some results. If the patient is in our database, we can select them from here, or if this is a new patient, we can scroll down and select the Add Patient option. Case Scheduler keeps a detailed record of your patient's demographic information for better management and care. Once our patient is selected, we can proceed to creating the appointment. We can change the physician by choosing from this drop-down, but because we double-clicked on Dr. Zhivago's schedule, his name is already there. If there is only one physician in the clinic, that physician's name will automatically be selected by default. Here we can add the referring physician. This is another search field similar to the patient search field above. We can enter a search string and select from the generated search results. Next, we can choose one of our appointment types. These appointment types are fully customizable, and as you can see, once I make a selection, the color, appointment duration, and billing code change. 
These features are designed to make billing easier, especially if the case scheduler is configured to work with our personal billing assistant software. Here we can also set the type of billing. We can see that our appointment date and time are already entered. If we wanted to find the next available appointment, we could do so by clicking this button. This feature is very useful when the schedule fills up and the next available appointment may be months from now. We can choose the starting point to search from and we can specify what type of appointment is needed so that we are sure to have the correct amount of time for the appointment. For now, I'll just close this and use the date and time we already selected. Once our appointment information is set, we can set the status of our appointment. By default, the appointment status is set to schedule, but as you can see, we have many to choose from. Each status has its own status icon. For example, we know that the appointment is scheduled because of the pencil icon at the top left corner. Or we know that the patient has arrived by the green box icon. You will become more and more familiar with these icons as you use the scheduler. Next, we have an appointment comment box. Any comment that you enter in this comment box will appear on the appointment box on the schedule. Once we have everything filled in and selected, we'll take a few seconds to double check that everything is correct and then we can save. We also have the option to save and print a visit sheet that can be used by the physician to write visit notes on. This visit sheet is a blank page with the appointment and patient information at the top. Now, as you can see, our appointment has been created. To edit an appointment, we simply select the appointment and then click on the edit button at the top. We make our changes and then save. As mentioned, we can also create a new appointment by clicking the new button, but as you can see, the date and time default to the current date and time. Navigating the schedule is simple. We can go to a specific date by entering the date here, or by selecting the date from the date chooser. We can use these arrows to move up a day or back a day. By clicking today, it will bring us back to the current date. We have several different view settings to choose from. We can zoom in and out of the current view, or we can fit the schedule to the window. We can also select between the current day view, a week view, or a month view. The week view will show the schedule for a physician for the entire week. The month view will show the number of appointments for each day. If you prefer a different view, you can choose the list view. The list view shows all the appointments for the day as a list. If displaying the patient names on your schedule is a concern, we can easily take care of that. One click and the patient names disappear from the schedule. Another click and they reappear. Case Scheduler also works with a card reader or card swipe to quickly and easily enroll or find patients by swiping their health card. We can also search for patients, search for physicians, or if you use our e-prescribing tool, you can also search for past prescriptions. Let's search for a patient. We can use the currently selected patient or search for a different patient. This is a quick way to view patient information. We can also find past and future appointments for this patient. Or we can print chart labels and mailing labels. If your case scheduler is integrated with the case electronic medical record, we can quickly go to that patient's chart summary. We can also print the patient's appointment list, edit the patient demographics, or create a new appointment. Here we can print a variety of reports such as a day sheet, end of day billing sheet, or patient day list. We can even print a cancel sheet. These reports can be generated for a single day or a date range. For billing purposes, the end of day billing sheet automatically adds the appointment type billing codes and has room for additional codes to be added later. To delete an appointment, we simply select the appointment we wish to delete and then click the delete button. Once we confirm, the appointment will be deleted. Moving an appointment is also easy. We can edit the appointment date and time, or we can simply drag the appointment to the time slot we prefer and confirm the change. Billing is made easy by integrating Medtel's personal billing assistance software. One click and the patient's demographic information and appointment billing code are automatically transferred from the scheduler to the billing software. As mentioned, the case scheduler is an easy to use tool for enrolling patients and tracking their appointments. I hope that you've enjoyed this demonstration of the case scheduler and its wonderful features. You've seen how easy it is to add, edit, and delete an appointment. You've also seen how the scheduler is simple and very easy to work with. The case scheduler is a key component of our case suite of products. If you would like more information or would like to book a more detailed demonstration of the case scheduler or any of our other products, please visit our website or call our toll-free number.